Welcome back guys to my channel. Today is a bit of a vlog. Um, <laughs> I've been sick. <laughs> um, I've had a bit of a head cold for like the past just under a week which has really kind of sucked. But I'm going to do a little vlog about me getting back into training and what my training week looks like. So come along for the ride if you like vlogs and seeing what my training is like for this kind of time and what I eat and do to sort of like get back into shape and training and feel like healthy and well again. Yeah. Let's go. Good morning guys, today is the day that I'm going to start working out again um, and start moving my body in a bit more than just stretching. I'm going to start off super slow and literally just do some Pilates because jumping straight into a workout, even body weight might be a bit too much for my body um, and I want to try and slowly work my way back up to doing what I normally do so yeah <clears throat> as you can hear I have literally just woken up as well okay I moved upstairs it was really hot outside it's like 30 degrees already um, yeah probably um, and today we are doing a move with Nicole Pilates lesson I'm excited I hope you're excited I'm so annoyed at my camera right now I thought I was time-lapsing my entire Pilates session, but lo and behold, it didn't work. So I just did like 40 minutes of Pilates, but you didn't get to see any of it. I'm so annoyed. Sorry about that. I know it's kind of nice to watch people actually work out rather than just saying what they're going to do. I hate my life so much because of what just happened what a great start to my day um now just remembering to take now just remembering to take my medication because i have a shitty thyroid okay breakfast time um no i'm not gonna eat a tiny banana um i'm gonna make a smoothie This is fermented yogurt. Um, my family, we make it with the cultured wellness starter. Um, Try good, would recommend if you're looking for a good fermented yogurt starter. Just love them, not sponsored. Okay, next up, I'm gonna put all of my little droppy things in. These are like supplements I do. Celium. Celium. That is so not how you pronounce it. Selenium. Selenium. And then I also take a uh, liquid iodine um, just as supplements that my doctor told me to take. And then the other one is the uh, life cycle mushrooms. Today I'm putting shiitake in my smoothie. Shiitake is really good for like hair, nails, skin. 
Um, have I noticed a difference? Yeah, actually, my nails are like, they grow so much faster at the moment. I've also noticed that like my hair is a, a lot healthier as well since starting to take this. I am almost finished this one, um, but I will leave a little affiliate code on the screen or down in the description below um, to give you guys a small a little discount if you want to try these out. I would so recommend. They're good. Good for you. Good for your body. Good for your soul. This is the spot. So often I will sit out in the sun in the morning just for a little bit, um, not very long, maybe like five minutes or ten minutes on like each side. I like hop in my bikini, get some sun all over. Um, some sun in any kind of form is really good for you because you get some vitamin D and as long as you have some sunscreen on then you're being sun safe. It's really good and plus makes you feel alive compared to staying inside all day long. Look at this thing. Okay, so something that I've been doing while I haven't been 100% is just like working on uh, creating content and posting to YouTube and Instagram and then also other stuff like working on my website. I'm doing right now and super helpful to like focus on other stuff. Um, also, taking snack breaks. So, my little brother works at a, like, specialty pastry place. And I asked him to bring home leftovers if there were any. And we have, like, an entire box full of, like, goodies. And getting to enjoy something from that box every day is such a little highlight at the moment because it just is. Well, it's something that I really enjoy. Okay, I just worked for so much longer than I normally do stuff in the afternoon. Um, normally I stop working at about like three and I take a nap because I normally need a nap by then. But my website was giving me grief and now it's four o'clock, so I'm gonna have a short nap because I need one or something like even, even when I am like completely well and fine, I will still have a nap because I do, I train so much and I get tired in that like slump at the end of the day. And I find that like the best thing to help me with that slump is just literally taking a nap. Like I'm not good with coffee and there's not really much else that works for me. Um, so I'm going to take a short nap and then get into my like afternoon training after that time. I feel about not sleeping. 
So usually I fall asleep for a bit when I nap, but I did not today. I just had like a really like overactive like brain when I was like trying to sleep and I know that's really common with people that like have like anxiety or like I don't know like normal people probably also experience that but yeah my brain just would not stop and even though like I was tired and like I wanted to fall asleep I could not my brain was just like working at like a million miles an hour and then I was like, hmm, I need to meditate. So I did some um, deep breathing and that helped me to get into a restful state. But um, alas, I did not sleep and I just kind of feel like, ugh, with the fact that like my brain wouldn't shut off and I have to go train. And I just, I know I need to like, get into training like sooner rather than later so that I'm not like still training when it's dinner time um which means I have to get a regal on and I don't wanna like, like I kinda just wanna lay in bed and whoops be a blob for a little bit longer ugh well I did call this a uh, raw and real training vlog so this is what you get Okay, cicadas are gonna be loud. Apologies, there is no way around it apart from whacking the bush, but I don't wanna do that. Oh, you're so crooked. <laughs> Today I am focusing mostly on handstands, um, I'm definitely a bit tired but I know that I'll feel good once I've like started training and got into it so I'm just going through the motions and getting into my training. Today is technically my second handstand session back since getting sick. I did alright in the first actual handstand session that I had back um, I was expecting to be I don't know feel a lot worse about it but I'm hoping that I still feel good and I'm in a good place with it I like I've had like not even a week off and I feel like I'm exaggerating and this I feel like is really common with like athletes and people that really like training lots is that it's like as soon as you like have like a couple days off you're like oh my god it's been so long and it's like I don't know like you kind of like your life relies on moving and working out and it's just I think when you rely on that and then you like can't do it it's like I just think it's really interesting like being aware of that and like seeing what you can like replace those things with um yeah anyway enough of a ramble from me let's train Okay, I think it is also a good thing to note that when you are hopping back into training is that, so like yesterday, for example, when I did my first handstand session was, I did, I like, I did a very different and very like less intense like handstand training session than I would normally do because I'd had like a bit of time off and I'd been sick I just made sure that I like 
took it back a bit and I kind of didn't like throw myself back into my normal training routine. I'm going to do a similar thing today except I might just like bump up the intensity just a little bit to see like how I go with it. Yeah, back to it. All right, and that is me done for my handstands. My neck was a bit sore in that training session when I was doing my one arm, which was a bit weird. Um, but apart from that, it felt all right. I definitely feel like I've lost like a bit of progress compared to like where I was at before I got sick. So that's a bit annoying, but just the reality of what happens when you have time off. Um, I'm gonna juggle now, but I won't film any of that because that's probably kind of boring. Um, I don't really document much of that. Um, but I'll see you tomorrow. I feel tired. Good morning, it is a brand new day and a time for another workout. I am finally going to do a proper weighted workout. I'm gonna do legs um i'm gonna do just like slightly lighter weights than i normally do to give my body still time to get back into it hopefully that should be good hopefully my workout actually films today we are doing glutes and hamstring in the Caroline Epic Heat program. Um, yeah. Good. Look at this. <clears throat> that like wasn't too high intense, so it was like kind of like the perfect workout to help me get back into things. But <sighs> so sweaty now. Today is a YouTube filming day. I literally just had to like set this like scene because I couldn't find anywhere that I was like happy to film in. So I was wandering around for like about half an hour, just like going from like spot to spot. Anyway, today I'm filming a couple YouTube videos because sometimes I do like to do them in bulk because I particularly like filming at my parents' place because it's really nice and aesthetic, just like this lovely scene that I just set up. So, yeah. And plus, like, I don't always really like filming videos in the circus tent just because, like, it's super, like, dark and there's, like, seating and, like, lots of stuff that's, like, in the background. So... It's also why I'm trying to like film a couple videos before I go back there. 
anyway that's what I'm doing today in the middle of the day and then I'll do stuff later on <laughs> my next component too when you're first starting to handstand is is understanding the basics <laughs> The best thing about having a good nap is you feel lazy afterwards. <laughs> I did just actually have a nap today. Um, I've got to film lunch. Classic. I had like veggies and egg scramble. I did not like it. I just kind of didn't want to eat it, didn't feel hungry, but I had some food anyway. It's like so hot today, it's like 33 degrees. I'm just going to juggle this afternoon because the rest of the week I'll be going back to Infamous and staying with Ian and like our training schedule is like Wednesday to Sunday. So. I'm just gonna juggle this evening and film some more like handstand content because like I said before I've been trying to like film a bit today the only bad part about having a nap is trying to like rouse myself to do anything afterwards but usually I just go into like stretching and like slowly work myself up to doing some training or something so shouldn't be too hard <laughs> outside in the heat now I'm going to film some stuff first for Instagram and YouTube and then job I think yeah <sighs> so windy I feel filmed out goddamn cicadas <laughs> I'm gonna juggle while I wait for these cicadas I to shut up because I can't film anything when the cicadas are going like they're so loud like you can hear it like in the background so prominently so I'm gonna juggle while I wait. Holy moly, I'm so sweaty and I've just been juggling like, it just goes to show how freaking hot it's been today. And even still like right now. Cicadas are still going. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to film that other video that I wanted to film, which is okay. Honestly, I was feeling a bit like overwhelmed from the amount of filming that I have done today. So, cause you can probably hear them right now in the background. I think I'm gonna go for a swim instead because this pool just looks so inviting. Mm, yes. Welcome to the next day. 
I had a very easy morning. I didn't do a workout. I kind of just let myself rest because I know that I still need to give myself like more days off than I would normally do when I'm getting back into stuff. I've just been reading and journaling. I find that they're really good activities that keep me preoccupied when I really want to be like training or moving um, and keep me kind of like off my laptop and like screen for when I've been on them too long. And I think with that, this vlog is a very long now. I am going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like because it really supports my channel. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.